What's up guys? Welcome to my new place. All right guys, what's up? So I'm here at my new place right now. As you can see, I have a totally different background that you have never seen before. But I will make a video about this when I come back. What do you mean when I come back, Chris? I'm actually going to Hawaii tomorrow morning. I leave for the airport LAX at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So I'll be gone for the next couple days. So I figured that before I actually leave for Hawaii, I talk about this very special picture that I want to share with you guys right now. So this picture that you're looking at right now is actually a picture that I took a couple years ago. Um, I actually took this picture about, I believe, two years ago, a couple months in after getting my first developer job. is because it reminds me of what I had to persevere through and it reminds me of what it took in order for me to get to where I am today. Becoming a developer is honestly going to be one of the most difficult things you've ever done. Becoming not just any developer. If you go to college, yes, that's hard. You you have to take all these classes, which I know I would fail at. But a lot of people who are actually learning code today are self-taught, are going through one of the places I learned to code to become a developer in a couple months was Treehouse. Some people learned at different schools. Some people went to boot camp. But becoming a developer is not easy. Why? Because again, you're learning a brand new language, but you're going into a world you honestly know nothing about. Even if your first language, let's say, is JavaScript, or maybe PHP, or if you're anything like me, the first thing you learned was HTML. And just because you learn one language, or if you're starting to get into it, you still have no idea of the world you're going into. You don't know about back development. You don't know about how Google fonts, right? Google fonts don't even work on anyone who reads a Gmail app. So if you're coding a, a page, an email template, yes, it'll work if you send it to a web-based Gmail app or someone's computer, but when you're looking at, at Google fonts on your Gmail app on your cell phone, you don't even know, like, guess what? Those fonts won't work, so you need a backup font. But how do you do that? So what I'm saying is that when it comes to the world of code, there's a lot that you don't know what to do. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. You don't know how hard it could potentially be because it's really hard. But my point is that we all start from somewhere. This picture, that I just showed you uh, a second ago is really important to me because this is the McDonald's that I actually learned to code at almost most of my time when I wasn't at work. Learning to code for me was very difficult because I didn't even have a laptop to learn code. Not even just that, because I lived in a, uh, in a house, and I'll show you this house in my next video, but this house that I used to live in before I moved here, I lived there for about six years, but the first two to three years, I actually lived there for free. And because I lived there for free, I was so ashamed to use the internet. I was so ashamed to be in the living room to use the internet. Not even just that, like I, I pretty much, it was, I didn't, I felt bad using the internet to learn code there, so I would have to go to McDonald's, but even more than that, I didn't even have a laptop. <laughs> yes, I didn't even own a laptop because I couldn't even afford it. So the only way for me to even learn code in the first place was to actually borrow a friend's laptop. Yes, because I was so determined to learn code, I will learn code at the office, at work. I will sneak it in. There are a lot of times when I'm so focused on building my first HTML and CSS website, not mobile friendly at all whatsoever, that when my boss comes in and walks behind me, he's, he, he actually saw me like twitch my hand trying to hide something. And he's like, Chris, I have a question. Why did your hand twitch like that? Wait, what are you talking about? It didn't twitch. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> For me, right, the reason this picture is it's very special to me is because this picture reminds me how I got here. And what I mean is this. Yes, I had no internet I could really use. As embarrassing as could be, I would have to ask a friend if I could borrow his laptop so I could use it for two days. When usually that's when people use their laptops to game online, right? But I had to do whatever it took, even as annoying as it may have sounded. So fortunately for me, I was able to use Treehouse, so no matter what laptop I used, I was able to learn code. So I used a couple of friends to learn code, but yes, eventually I got here. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is this. I could have used the reason that I don't have good internet at the house to learn code. I can't learn code because I don't have good internet at the house. Um, I was too embarrassed to use it. I could have used the excuse that I didn't have a laptop to learn code. That, you know what, I don't have a laptop to learn code, so there's no hope for me. But instead of making excuses on why I can't become a developer, I did whatever it took to make sure I can get there. And what I'm trying to say is, I know there are so many people learning code right now, where yes, there might be times when your JavaScript's really hard, and it will be, but don't use that as an excuse that you can't do it just because it's hard. Don't make an excuse of your situation why you can't become a developer. If you really want it, no matter how difficult the situation is, you can get there. Because I'll tell you this, I'm not better than anyone else. I didn't get here because I'm smart, because I'm definitely not. I got here because I never gave up. 
Now this video is not talking about any code at all. This video is really just a motivational video that I'm trying to make before I head out to Hawaii. I just got back from church. I'm leaving at five in the morning. It is already 11 p.m. I'm exhausted. I have to do whatever it takes, no excuses, man. So. No matter what, man, don't let your situation stop you. Don't make excuses. If you really want, no matter how bad it is, how hard it is, you can do it. Anyways, that's how I got here. Anyways, man, so I'm here at my new place. I will show you guys my new place when I get back from Hawaii. Of course, I'll be filming when I get to Hawaii too. But anyways, man, thank you guys for watching. If you can like this video, if not, it's all good. I'll see you guys later. This is Krishan, this is Life World Developer. And season three of the Krishan Vlogs, Dev's Life Vlogs, will be starting next week when I get back. Peace out.